Uh, yeah, so, um, I, uh, my weekend was, uh, pretty, uh, pretty good, I guess, you know, can't really complain. One of those, like, uh, I guess chill-ish weekends. I don't know, I don't, uh, why is this smell? I do not know. Okay. Judgment. I'm trying to remember where we were. Let's see. Uh, oh, we just finished on a date with, um... Me, uh, Nanami and Yuko. That's what it was. That's what it was. We were finishing a date with them. Um, probably go on another one, or should I just continue the story? I do not know. Do not know. Thinking about it. Um... Oh, we got a text. Okay, let's, what do we got here? Who's... Oh, Yuko's texting me. Uh, Yuko, if you weren't here the last time, Yuko is Nanami's friend, who's kind of... got the hots for us, but is also trying to get Nanami and Yagami together. Just the hots for Yagami. Is what I meant to say? I don't know. Thanks for today, Yagami-san. Oh, no, thank you. I actually had a really great time. Aw, oh, that's just because you're such a fun guy. By the way, I'm pretty sure Nanami's interested in you. Uh, well, you mentioned something like that during the date. Why? Because she wants to help. Nanami brings up you a lot whenever we talk. She wouldn't talk about you so much if she wasn't interested in you. I mean, that is true. Besides, I was watching how she acted during the date. It's just a hunch, but I felt something there. Uh, I guess you could call it women's intuition. Uh, instinct. Instinct, intuition, they're very similar things. But she said she wasn't interested in dating. And I think Yagami's as dense as a board. Well, that's just an excuse so she doesn't get hurt by anyone. She may not look like it, but she's actually pretty sensitive. Really now? Really? Yep. That's why Nanami will never take the first step. Please, just ask her out on a date. I'm sure Nanami will open her heart up if it's with you. Are you sure? Nanami, this is not the time to be paranoid. Totally, I know she'll say yes. She will. Nanami, do, do you... Yeah. Nanami, do you need her to guide you through this? Come on. How many times are you going to ask? The only thing it takes to unfreeze her frozen heart is your burning lava. Finding it, I got plenty of that. I know you do, stud. I know you do. But if Nanami still won't budge, you could always give me some of that fire. Heck, I'm hot enough for you as it is. <laughs> sure thing. Yeah. We're not going to- we can't go on another date with Suki, no. Alright, let's try- Oh, you know, let's do another date with Nanami. Check out this fire pickup line. This can- Hi! Great pickup line. Hi, what's up? Okay, so I totally chickened out, but still. 
Should I ask her on a date? Yes. Uh, I was just wondering if you were free. Maybe we could go out sometime? Oh, oh, sorry, now's not really the best time. Gotcha, no worries then. Sorry, my schedule's been crazy lately. Yeah, she's a bit of a workaholic. She, um, doesn't... I feel like maybe the workaholicness is a distraction, so she doesn't... Like... Be vulnerable. In a, like a relationship situation? I don't know. I figured as much. Guess I should have figured as much. It's not with dates, that's for sure. Sorry for bugging you. No, no, I'm sorry for turning you down. I know she's always hustling, but I wish she'd make a little time for me. That day will come, Yagami. We're, 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 we're working on it. Find a way to meet Matsuga. Right. You're doing that. Oop, oop. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I don't know. Do some goofing off. Goof, big scoof. Uh, which one did I like? I like Eo. Practice. Uh, which one did we start at? That's a good question. Probably this one. I gotta remember, it's like a thing for doing all the courses. Fuck you. How do I turbo again? Crap, I don't remember. Oh, double tap it, that's how you turbo. Right. You're not having a good day. Ooh. Kill everybody. Damn, what the fuck is third place? Oh! There's third place. Let's see. Get out of my way. Get out of my f Get the fuck. Has it been a lap? Oh, it went lap two. Okay. Cheating if I stay up here? Where's first place? First place is like right over here, okay. Alright, baby. Come on. Ah. Oh, my hammer. Okay. You bitch. Ah, 
Ah, uh, that might count. I think that might have counted. I'm no match for anyone. Alright, so we did Reef 8, the Junos. I'm gonna just do all of them right now, I think. Oh man, this is the icy world, I see. Oh, it twists and turns and what the fuck? Okay. Oh god. Fuck you. I'll just be faster, I don't care. Oh god. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck it. Why is everyone so aggressive on this stage? My god! Everyone's like a fucking aggressive bitch. I got my hammer. Yeah, yeah, now you in trouble, son. Ah, the two we there we go. No one's stopping me this time. First place ticket is mine! Uh... Whee! I'm not gonna even bother turboing. Uh... Maybe I will. Get out of my way. Oh, fuck. Fuck! Alright, we go through the tunnel and I think that's basically it. Uh, I don't remember the track. It better be it, we're running out of time here. Oh, that was it, that's all we needed to do, eh? Okay. I still didn't get it first! Bitch. I'm person. Whoever you are. Alright, I guess that's it for Moto Raid. I suppose. Um.
Need to beat Dead Souls 4 and 5. Yeah. And clear all stages. Alright, you could give that a try. I'm Rose down here. What was that text? Hold on. Who texted me now? Oh, Sukino. Hey. Thanks for taking me out, Yakami san. Today was super fun. Oh, and thanks for letting me listen to me yak about my problems. Anytime. Let's hang out after our practice interview's over, yeah? Sure, can't wait. Um. Hey there. This is kind of pushy. I feel like this is kind of pushy, but whatever. Hey, what's going on? I will definitely ask for a date this time. I uh, want to grab lunch or dinner? Want to grab lunch or dinner? Which would you prefer? Hmm, how about lunch? Awesome. We in there. The thing is, I'm still not sure about my schedule today. Is it okay if I contact you later? Yeah, sure thing. So now we play the waiting game. I hope she really does contact me. Does that mean she doesn't want me texting her until then? Yeah, don't be super pushy. That's kind of weird, Yagami. Don't do it. Um, now we can play Kamara. Now we can play Kamara of the Dead. I still can't get past level four. So if you don't know Kamuro the Dead, it's basically, it was this game, Yakuza Dead Souls. That was a spinoff that was a zombie invasion. And they kind of made a, uh, Fuck! Leave that far, you bitch. And, uh, they made this rail shooter out of it. The original game wasn't a rail shooter. The original game was kind of sort of like Yakuza, but not really. Fuck. Ah. Oh, this guy's annoying. I'm glad I hit that. How do I shoot this guy? Oh, like that. Oh, for Cooley. This mode would be easier on mouse and keyboard, but I can't complain because it's a console only game. But I, I'm just saying, like, if this game ever got a PC version, this game, this mini game would be so much easier on uh, mouse and keyboard. Because. Because you would literally just, uh... You would just, uh, you know, aim with the mouse. It'd be really fucking god damn it! Fuck! 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, you bitch! You're not the boss? I thought you were the boss. God damn it! I don't even die to the boss, I die to a fucking normal enemy. I like, no, don't exit, I want to start up. Does it really kick you out? I feel like it shouldn't kick you out, it should drop you back to the menu. That's annoying. Alright. No, we're gonna try it again. Try it again. One more time. Let's go again. I feel like I was near the end. Unless that was unless that guy was a mid boss. I hope he wasn't a mid boss. Ah, you bitch. You shit! I need all my health. You bitch. Stop it. Um. Oh, for coolie majuli. I think this guy counts as the mid-boss, right? That's what I would assume. He's like a mid-bossy type. Annoying, super annoying. I just reloaded for no reason. Ah, the fucking aiming. Oh boy. God damn it all. Get back, you foul beasts. Oh, you're back? Oh, we weren't done? God damn it. I thought we were done for some reason. Why would I assume that? I do not know, but I thought we were done. I mean, I... Now we're done! There we go! I got a D. Why'd I get a D for that? For like getting hurt? Alright, level five. Fuck you. Why 
What? Did that auto kill me? Or was I down to one health? I think I was down to one health. Ooh. Uh -huh. One last try. One last try. Maybe from full health we can wrangle something together. Big boy. Uh. Ah, ow, my brain, my brainium. How are you? Did I throw the grenade? Oh, hello. Heckity heck are you? Oh my god, they're like... Bad time to fucking heal. I mean, reload. This one's a toughie. Give me that. Oh! Oh my good golly, Miss Molly. Oh my I'm like not on it. I'm like right next to it when I fire. Jesus. Okay. I'm determined now. I'm gonna get through that bowl malarkey. I just don't like that it kicks you out every time you fail. Like, it kicks you back to the main game. Like, can't I stay in this menu? I want to play this. God, how did I get that last time? Probably by not sucking so much. I hate this. And now we gotta let it waste time. Mm -hmm. Waste time loading the main game back so we can load this game back. It's kind of Mildly annoying, a little bit. Uh... Can you- can you get hit? That'd be great. What the heck? 
I came out of nowhere. Like, all of a sudden, decided, oh, I gotta, like... There's a health bar right over there. I need that. Give me that. That was super risky. I should not have done that. God, I hit you. I hit that one. I hate this so much. Get off me. Why? I hit shoot. Sometimes it doesn't register me shooting, I feel like. Where did you come from? I already cleared this area. Did that kill me? It's ah, uh, did that do like two points of damage? Ah. Come on. One last try. After that, we should probably move on and do something else. I don't know. Like, the point, the thing is, I need to not get hit so much. My God. How much did that damage do? Two? Three? God damn it. How is that not on? Oh my god. This is what, exactly what I'm saying. Like, on a controller, this is horrible. This sucks. But on a mouse, like, if you were using a mouse to do all this, this would be easy peasy. I swear, because it would literally be just like pointing the gun. Like, on a controller, that's hard to convey. Alright, whatever. We're gonna leave. Alright. She... Um... Do we want... Yeah. Contact her. 
Alright. Uh, busy as usual? Yep, you already know, well. Guess that means you don't have time to hang out. I'm pushing for this. Sorry about that. This isn't going anywhere. I know you could said Sidnami Sam was interested in me, but I'm starting to doubt that. I don't know how to move our relationship forward. Talk to Yuko. I wonder if she's like purposely a, a, ignoring me, like, du like ducking me. Nagami-san, I was Sukino. Uh, that's a secret. Hmm, what could it possibly be? And I guess, go for it. Ah, uh, she has a curse on someone, and that someone is you. Huh? Is that wrong? Good question. I wonder what it could be. Oh, I'll check in with her soon. Yes, please do. Um. What am I doing? I'm just running around the city aimlessly. See how this is. Yes. I'm just kind of goofing off. Uh, here. Oh my God. Okay. Now I'm starting to doubt myself. Okay, I need to go perfect from here. Which on a first one is probably not going to happen. Let's be honest. Oh, I needed eight. Oh, I'm already screwed. That's okay. We'll learn the, um, pattern. Fuck! Actually, no. This is the challenge course. This is fine. I thought we were on home run for some reason. Okay. Alrighty. You're gonna go here a bit. Alright. We're learning the route. We're learning the route. What the flip was that? Okay. Do that again. <laughs> and we'll get it. I think I got enough of it to know yes. to get enough points. I don't need a perfect. This so one's here. <laughs> then it was just a straight fastball. Whoa, hey. I think my touchpad acted up there for a second. Because you can use the touchpad to aim. I wouldn't recommend it for this. This is really, that's really horrible. Uh, there we go. I might just get a perfect accidentally. Just because I remember the route. This is a change up. Uh, then it was here. That's good enough. Not a perfect perfect, but here. Okay. Yes. Here. Yes. 
And then here. So we got we still got the perfect score wise. I was trying to go for all homers, but whatever. Whatever. What? Hey, you there. You got one hell of a swing, you know that? Who's this? Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. And you are? Name's Yosta. I'm the manager of this here batting center. Pleased to meet you. Oh, hello there. Oh, he's a friend. Bet a guy like you could use a real batting challenge. The likes of which no one's ever seen. Am I right? Well, I did clear all the previous ones like it was no one's business. Ain't nobody's business. Indeed. Then if you are truly the chosen one, perhaps. No, forgive me. I've said too much already. Oh, come on, dog. Let me know. Just say it. So be it. You see, in my darkest, loneliest hour, I devised a forbidden course for fiends with otherworldly talent, such as yourself. Problem is, I made it so difficult, no one could get an even a single hit. So I sealed it off from the rest of the world. You sealed it off. Okay, what are those, the extra rooms that are over there on the side? Wow. Yes, it was once known as the Devil's Course. Not even the King of Hell himself could complete it. Most Titans and Giants, now Devils? We do sure pick some oddball names. But now I'm actually kind of intrigued. Yeah, we can do it. Excellent. Then come see me when you want to give the Devil's Course a shot. The price won't change any. I'm assuming to increase your friendship, we gotta defeat the two, defeat the Devil's Course. All right, let's try it. You can tough enough to tackle the Devil's Course, then hand over 300 yen and pick which version you want. All right, give me the uh, home run course. <laughs> well then, knock him out the park and into the next life. Let's see how bad this is. That guy's always batting. It doesn't matter, apparently. I'm assuming these are gonna be like super wacky crazy balls. This one's gonna go here. We'll get to the wacky shit, I'm sure. There we go, there's some wacky shit. Uh, here. That one might be a wacky. Okay. Okay. Ooh, how hard are you gonna slide though? Okay, there we go. Ooh, what are you gonna do? Mm. Somehow I hit that. Uh, you're gonna go here? Here. Damn it, I didn't move down mm. enough. I think we failed at this point. Hard drop. Yeah, you're not getting me. You're not baiting me with these tactics. Alright, well. Mm. Oh, we could have salvaged it if it. Uh, okay, well, now we know. Alright, I got this. I can do this. We can do that. Nope. No, and I'm trying to get right now. I got it now. We're good. <laughs> we will. I got this now. Yeah, I could do enough. How much do I have to pass? I didn't even see how many I needed to pass. I think it's yes. seven. Which, you know, it's not that bad. Uh, you're gonna go here. Yep. They start you off normal. Normal. Then this one's gonna wacky over here. Oh, no, I messed that one up again. Okay. Well, we're fine. And... Here? There we go. Yes. Here. Yes. Uh, 
Okay, I missed that one. Here. Here. Uh -uh -uh, you're not getting me. Hard drop. That's what it was. Alright, as long as I don't fudge up. I say that as I, uh, and then you're gonna... God damn it! Okay. Alright. Third time's a charm. I got it now. I think. No, 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 no. You calm down, sir. We I will get this one this time. You can't stop me, Yosta. I just need to get seven of the balls. I don't care about the perfect or any of that crap. Okay. Wacky ball goes here. There we go. It's a good thing the pattern never changes. So you can actually learn the pattern and then actually respond to it. They're gonna go here. Oh. I was completely off. That's if you can remember the pattern. Ah, uh, here. Ah, okay. Why is my thing not moving? Oh, is it because I'm like act, sort of touching this, but not really? I get- I have to perfect all of these now, which is not happening. Okay. You know what they say about the fourth try? I'm not stopping till we get it. Somehow I always end up five out of seven. I don't understand it. How am I keep- I'm messing up in different ways and I always end up with the same score. Oh my god. This is the one though. This is the one. I'm not gonna flub it. I'm not gonna flub it. It's not happening this time. It's not happening this time. It's just not happening. Ah, this is a home run course. Like, on the challenge course, I wouldn't care where I hit it as long as I'm hitting it, but this one I care. Mm. Ah! I might as well throw it away right now. It's not hap- well, no, it could still happen. If I remember what the last two are, which I- don't ever seem to remember what the last two are. Okay, we're good. We're good. And then you go like here. Ah, there we go. We got seven. Screw you, Yoshka. Suck my ass. Ooh, free pass voucher one. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I, I think I have two of the free pass vouchers now. Oh, so you made it through the home run hell, eh? Why haven't you gone pro? I don't know, it's a good question. Well, it, I'm sure it's a whole different ballgame when you play against actual people. Yeah, you know, actual people in an actual stadium with a crowd watching? It's a lot different. I'm sure you'd go pretty far. Either way, swing by again soon. Alright, do it. Uh, let's just see what that text is. Who texted me? Tsukino, okay. Hey yo, guess what? I decided to do some self anal self analysis today. Have you ever analyzed yourself, Yakubi? Uh what do you mean? <laughs> I don't know. What do you mean by self analysis? Basically you take a look at yourself in the context of preparing for a job interview. Things like your personality, special skills, reason for applying, anything that helps you stand out. Huh. I didn't know people did that. I didn't either. Do people do that? 
Self-reflection, but I guess not really. Yeah, apparently people don't understand themselves as much as they think. So you need some introspection. Well, did you find anything out about yourself? Yeah, did it work? Because I don't know if... <coughs> I'm not sure if that would work. Not really. Yeah, exactly. It's hard to come up with the right words, you know? Maybe I'm just a shallow person. That's not true. I know you're just a very unique person with your own way of thinking. You really think so, huh? <laughs> Thanks. So, the more I think about it, the more I'm unsure of what I want to do with my life. Same. Uh, are you gonna be okay? Are you gonna be okay going into an interview like that? Probably not, but I'll do my best anyway. How about that date? Not for a while. If I keep booking it, it'll probably just shut me out completely. Okay. So another way to confirm. Yuko. Y Yuko. Yeah. There we go. Finally. Nanami-san keeps turning me down even when I ask her directly. Maybe I'll ask Yuko-san for advice. Yeah, Yuko could definitely help. Hey there, can I ask you something about Nanami-san? Sure, if it's something I can answer. Oh my god, you could use the touchpad to go up and down on the text screen. That's... I guess that makes sense, because it's simulating like this is a touchscreen phone, but... I did not know that, that's interesting. Sure, if it's something I can answer. Okay. So I've been asking Nanami-san out on a date several times, but she keeps turning me down. Is that normal for her? She hasn't gone out with you at all? Hmm, that is rather odd. It is? Yeah, is it? Because it feels like she's brushing me off. Yeah, it sounds like she's like not into it at all. And I'm being rather weird by... Pushing it. My hunch is correct. Nanami should be pretty into you. That's why I thought she might want to go out with me, but so far that hasn't happened. Can I ask you one thing? Uh, what is it? What are your feelings towards Nanami? Keep asking her out because you're interested in her, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the reason. Not because I want to, like, get all the girlfriends. But, you know. Does that mean you like her? I guess you could say that. You want to hold it. Squeeze her. And you got to, got to try a little tenderness. The chicks love that romantic crap. Okay, then. Can we meet up right now? I want to talk to you about this some more. Sure. Yeah. I'll be waiting at Wet Kitchen on West Taihei Boulevard. Okay. Boulevard. How many SP points do we have? Uh... Oh, my God. Oh my darling. Upsy mazy. Upsy dazy. Oopsy daisy. Did we beat the GA lab? I, I wouldn't think we would have, but okay. Screw it. Do the shogi set. I don't know about the hug bomb. I don't know what a hug bomb does, so I'm gonna leave that out. Alright, let's go to Wet Kitchen. Wet the Kitchen? Why is Nanami ghosting us? She keeps duck- She keeps ducking me. 
My brain, my brain cells. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chart. Hit me. Oh, here we go. Who's texting me now? Tsukino again. I'm getting my, my phone is just lighting up. We can can I we do a practice interview like we talked about? I think we need to do an English lesson first. Sure. Let's meet up at Theater Square then. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. I'm running like two girlfriends at the same time. I'm doing wet kitchen first. Although I think I mean that would what is wet kitchen? I'm doing wet kitchen first. Let's meet up with Yuko first, then we'll meet up with uh, Tsukino. Um, Achanko. Where the kitchen is over here. Somewhere. Uh, it's like over here. Alright, yeah. Yeah, there it is. There she be. You ever had no? Apparently not, so. No big plan from you. There's Yuko. She clean. She literally scared everyone else off. There's normally people up here. Hey, thanks for waking. Uh, waking. Oh my God, my English. I need an English lesson. I think I need a lesson in speaking or something. Uh, thanks for waiting, Yuko-san. My pleasure, Yagami-san. You're looking handsome as ever. Uh, thanks. Eesh. So, uh, about Nanami-san. Looks like even you could impenetrate her icy facade. What a waste. Missing the chance to get to know a wonderful guy like you? Well, if she's not interested, then there's not much I can do. My hands are tied. I'm not gonna force the relationship if she's not interested. Like, that would be weird and creepy. That would be kind of like what the stalker man that we put in prison did. I don't want to be the next guy she throws in prison. Don't think like that, Yakami-san. My instincts have been telling me she's actually really into you. Are you sure about that? 100% sure. What I think is happening is she's getting too caught up in her past. So she's closing herself off. Well, uh, what happened to her? Um, I'm not really at liberty to bring that up. Even to a nice guy like you. I see. That's too bad. I would like to know. Uh. Okay. This is just between me and you. Eh? Oh, you're gonna tell me after all? <laughs> I, I can't help it. You see, I'm just too much of a blabbermouth and you're too much of a hottie. I mean, uh, one of these things is true, I guess, uh. at least. And I'm glad I was born with these charming good looks. You have to swear on your life you didn't hear this from me. Okay. Yeah, I promise. Okay, here's what happened. So, so Nami had this really awful boyfriend. I'm talking major sleazeball here. That went and cheated on her. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a real bastard. He was. I'm not sure what Nami saw in him, but she basically gave him her heart. He stepped on her like a bitch. And what he did, and what did he end up doing? 
He threw it away like it was nothing. After that, a messy breakup ensued. It's terrible. Yep. Left such a deep emotional scar, it changed my friend forever. I see. So I guess it's not such a good time to ask her out, huh? Well... After meeting a wonderful guy like you, I honestly thought she'd be able to move forward. I guess the time was not right. Oh. Nakami-san! Do you really like Nanami? I've been attracted to her for a while now. And would you say your feelings here will only grow deeper and deeper? Yeah, I would say so. Okay. And I've decided to help you out. You mean you weren't already helping us out? I felt this was like helping us out right here. But this is between this conversation right now. Uh, thanks. But how? You'll need an excuse to slip past her defenses. An excuse? Yeah. Something work-related, for example. Nanami just loves her job, after all. Since she's so anti-dating at the moment, it might work better if you got to know her as a... colleague. Ah, the, that might actually work. She's actually not wrong. I feel like that, like, I think so. But I work as a detective. We're worlds apart. A detective. Okay, I can work with that. Give me a moment. Hmm. Aha! Okay, I think I got the perfect plan. What are we getting ourselves into? What is it? How about you take her? On an investigation. That's insanity, but okay. Mm -hmm. But I can't do that. Why not? All you have to do is say she's your assistant. Besides, she seems to really dig your career. But I don't have anything going on right now that'll make it seem legitimate. Hmm, okay then. Make something up. What? Did somebody say something? Oh. Oh, hey, how about this? You thought of something else? Yeah. Right out, This is right out of a scene from one of my favorite movies. A detective and a woman he's working with pretend to be a couple to avoid drawing suspicion from their target. This Mr. and Mrs. Smith? I, I think that's how the plot of that movie goes. At first it's a fake romance, but the two start gradually getting to know each other in various intimate ways. Uh. You're not saying... It's exactly what I'm saying. We're gonna ask Nanami to act as your girlfriend and pretend like it's part of an investigation. I know it. <laughs> that that seems less likely to work. Yeah! And in that movie, those two actually end up falling in love. I don't think that's how that would work in real life, but you know what? Whatever. And they end up living a happy, happy life together. Doesn't that sound like a dream come true? Maybe. And I don't think that tactic will work on anything I'm involved in. Mm. Okay, then let's not stop there. I, I feel like we're so close. Uh, oh, hey, what about this? Really are creative, aren't you? Darn straight. When you're a talented actress like me, all the world's a stage and everyone's a player. Performer and portrayer, each another's audience inside the Gilded Stage. 
Living in the limelight is never so free for those who wish to be. What does that have to do with anything? Because assuming a needed role is what I was born to do. As such, I've amassed a nice collection of props and disguises. Are you saying... I'll be the target for your investigation. That way you and Anami can do the whole pretend couple thing. This is getting less and less likely to work. As the conversation goes on. My role shall be that of a desperate housewife looking for love in all the wrong places. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's a perfect recipe for failure. I mean, the perfect opportunity to capture Donnie's heart. Trust me, there's no way anything could go wrong. Uh, trust me when I say everything could go wrong. Think about the excitement here, the thrill of working close together on a case, the rush of avoiding danger. Mm. But even with a good disguise, I feel like she'll recognize you. Here, maybe a photo will sway your opinion. All right, what do we got? This is one of my more generic roles too. Oh, damn. Yeah, I... I guess you can't really tell that's her. Not only can I alter my appearance, I can also change my mannerisms. The way I talk, how I speak, everything. That's why I'm telling you, she definitely won't find out. If this is your level of quality, it might actually work. Yeah, hey, Yagami, have some faith. See? I even have a friend from my theater group who can act as my accomplice. But we got all the bases covered. Yeah, sure. Alright then, let's do this. I don't think it's gonna work, but let's go along with it. Now that's what I'm talking about. All you have to do is invite Nanami out and give me the good word. I'm sure you'll be able to get those hormones flowing. And help her blossom into a lady who knows the meaning of love. Is this really the right thing to do? Don't question it. If you start to question it, it'll all fall apart. And then it'll never work. Make it till you make it. That's... So, do we gotta, I guess... Text. Let's go with Suki now. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. Yagami's going on dates. Oh god. All right. Let's uh, date it up. Oh my, she she definitely looks like she's ready for a fake interview. That could be sound. Sorry I made you wait. I made you wait. I <laughs> it's the other way around. Whoa, check out that outfit. <laughs> Do you like it? This is what I've been wearing to my interviews. Even though it's just practice, I still want it to look prepared. Our interview hasn't started yet, has it? Huh? You should check your shirt before you begin. Uh, that bag is too flashy for someone wearing a suit. Something black or dark blue would fit better. That's true! I never thought about that. There's a cat nearby. Always gotta get the cat. The cat's important. He, he said something about the shirt. I noticed you haven't fastened all your buttons. 
But is it the proper way to leave the last button undone? I don't know. I don't know what actually that's wrong. I feel like... If the... Actually, that's wrong. You're thinking of how guys do it. Right way. Leave them all fastened, I would assume. The proper way for a lady to wear her shirt is to fasten all the buttons. Really? I had no idea. I don't either. I hope I'm giving you good advice. I'm surprised you knew. I guess I know. Yeah, I used to wear a suit for my old job. I remember one time I pointed out my colleague's button and uh, yeah. Yeah, kind of awkward. I guess I was right. Uh, okay. I would have no way of knowing that. I'm not really a suit guy. So, ready to start the practice interview? Yes, uh, yes I am. Uh, let's get started. You sure? Because you look nervous as heck. Heck. Uh, I do? Definitely. I think we should start when we're a little more relaxed. Why don't we go unwind somewhere? That's considerate of you. I could try the casino. What do I gotta do? Win? Oh, we go to the casino. Wearing this? Yes, actually. Ah, oh, you're fine. If anything, a suit would look good in a casino. Yeah, I'm the one out of shape, out of place though, with my leather jacket and jeans. You think so? Sure, anything. Let's just see how it goes. What do I gotta do? Win? Wait, how much do I gotta win? Because normally there's a condition for doing each activity. I probably should have just did darts. So this is what a casino's like. How refined. What should we do here? You know how to play poker, Sukino chan? Oh, I do. I see my brother play. That's good. And you know all the rules. Uh, I'm not sure I remember them all. Do you teach me? Absolutely. And then once we're done reviewing, you and I can play together. Hi. Yeah, I'd like that. So those are the rules. I, I know the rules of certain poker types. The one that's in this game, which I'm pretty sure is... The one in this game is Texas. And I know Texas, hold them. Like, I understand the rules of Texas. Most poker... I mean, poker in general is general, usually the same. It just depends on... There's certain rules where they like... If it's a draw poker, or if it's like community poker, like hold them. This is a uh, community poker, but uh, we I I get the basic of it. Hi. Got it. Thank you. Well, let's go ahead and give it a try. I'll provide the betting money. I will now. Huh? Are you really okay with that? Of course. I can't just let a, let a student pay. In that case, I appreciate that. Okay. 500 chips is not bad. Are we playing low stakes then? Welcome to the poker table, ladies and gentlemen. I wish you all the best of luck. Look how much fucking money we ha they have. Um, check. Uh... That's a... Big if uh, I would need a seven. I mean, we could. I'll call it because. Actually, no. Let's see if he's willing to actually be part of it. Oh boy, I'm gonna call. 
Fuck you all, you don't have shit. All right, if it doesn't work after this, I need a seven. I probably have really good hands. I'm gonna fold. Why are they bluffing? Where do you have? Where do you have a kind? Oh my god. A full house, even. Uh, what are we trying to do here? I mean, I, if I could win, I could, I'm gonna win. Uh, call. Yeah, I have a pair of ones. We'll just see how it goes. Okay. Pair of tens. What am I talking about? Three of a kind. That's good. That's a good hand. That's a solid hand. I keep raising. Okay. That's probably pretty good. All that. I have a three. Oh my god. Alright, fine. I have a three of a kind. Come on. I also had a flush. I guess a flush is better than three. I didn't even notice the flush. <laughs> I'm gonna be wholly honest with you. I thought I had a three of a kind, which was a decent. I thought it was a decent hand. The three of a kind would have still won. Nobody else had a three. Like. I could have played either hand and I would have won. I guess a flush is better than a three of a kind, I suppose. Alright, uh, keep playing. Ooh, pair of queens. Praise. Uh, praise. Oh, let's see here. What do we got? Worst comes the worst, I have a pair of queens. We'll see what happens. Oh, I'm not taking your bet. I think you're bluffing. No, 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 no. Or is she? Wow, she had the three of a kind. Okay, fine. Very well. She's learning good. Uh, call. Because why would you, unless you really think you got Jack. I kind of feel like there's no point before the flop. That makes my hand already better, so I might as well. Let's see here. I got two pair. Probably a horrible two pair. Two pair. Oh, hey, I won. Cool. Keep playing. I don't know how long. I think we can, I can leave at any time. I don't know if I need to win. Do I need to beat her? If I get a queen, that'd be jack, queen, that'd be a straight, so I will check. I'll stay in it for now. It's super risky. Pair of tens. That helps nobody. I need the queen. If I don't get the queen, I'm bluffed. Hey, there we go. Raise that sucker. Give me that good stuff. There we go. Scotty. Yeah, baby! Oh, uh... 
Sticky Dope got out. Okay, maybe after this round I will leave. Uh, call. Error, I, that's nothing. Check. I got diddly. Yeah, I'm gonna fold. I got diddly squat. We're gonna fold and probably just leave. I, everybody's got a pair of queens. That didn't help me. I don't wish when it was just left with all the AI, it would just skip to the end. Because, like, this doesn't affect me anymore. I don't care. I think I, I managed to double the amount of money I had. That's actually put. I'd say that's a win. That's a win in my book. I'm gonna quit. That's a win in my book. I doubled the amount of money I came into the the, the thing. It doubled the amount of chips I got. But I went from five hundred to one thousand. But yeah, whatever. That's still that's a hundred thousand yen. Unfortunately, you can't back trade it to money. Yes, victory is mine. Wow, you're really good, Yagami-san. I feel like I got lucky on that one straight hand. <laughs> I'm going to be wholly honest with you. But you know what? If your impression of me is improved because of that, I will take it. I didn't know you could gamble on top of everything else. Hopefully I get to keep those chips. Like, I paid for those chips. Like, it's not gonna, like, take them away and I'll have to actually buy more chips down the line when I actually want to play poker for real. Like, as the mini game. Ah, uh, today was so much fun. I needed this little break. All I ever think about is job hunting these days. And it's important to take it easy every now and then. Maybe we should sit down somewhere and talk. We should probably sit down and have that faux interview. That would be a good idea. Ask about her drawings. I remember you said you liked drawing. Do you also do other kinds of art? Like, uh, watercolor or oil painting, maybe? Yeah. Oh, no, I don't do anything complicated like that. You want, hey, uh, how about I introduce you to my good friend Bob Ross? You'll be oil painting in no time with Bob Ross, trust me. He, he can take anybody. Like, you, you all, you've never painted in your life? Bob Ross would make you paint. If you want to paint, I'd, Bob Ross is the man to go to, I'd say. Bob Ross, he's got his good stuff. I'm mostly about character illustrations. I'm sort of a geek that way. Oh, so you're a manga artist then? What to be... Well, instead of being a job hunter, why don't you be a mangaka? <laughs> I mean, I know it's not that easy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, except for the fact that I can't come up with any kind of story. Then be the illustrator for a mangaka. Like, find the person who can't come up with any good drawings but has a good story. And then you do the drawing part. Tag team. Boom. It worked. It works for Bakuman. It works. <laughs> it works for Death Note. <laughs> I, I could draw cute characters or creatures, but that's about it. I'd love to check those out. That's still really cool, though. I'd love to check those out sometime. You would? Well, you, you drew them, so yeah. I'm not so sure they're ready to be shown off, though. Sorry, uh, maybe once I'm a little more talented, I'll let you take a look. Okay, guess I gotta be patient. Let's ask about her fiance. 
I wonder what your future husband thinks about this whole situation. Hmm, couldn't say. I haven't seen him in forever. Last time was the first year of middle school. Was he also in middle school? Like, are we talking like a similar age thing here? Or... Okay. Well, do you know if he's going along with it? Or are his parents calling all the shots? So this is it. Mm, he seemed to be pretty comfortable with the whole thing. Unlike me. Maybe he's just doing it for his family's sake. Doesn't he have his own opinion of how his life should go? <laughs> I mean... Doing it for the family is one thing, but, um... You should work, like, the family's not you. You're not... I mean, you're a part of the family, but, like... Family shouldn't be everything. I'm sure it's hard on him, too. He just doesn't show it. I can't imagine it's easy on him, either. Not being able to choose who he marries. Yeah, especially when he's stuck with a downer like me. Gosh, he really doesn't have much self-esteem. What was he like in middle school? He wasn't such a bad kid. He was quiet. He liked small animals and plants. He also read a lot. I might actually get along. Oh, he's pretty mellow, huh? Sounds like you two might actually get along. I'm not so sure. We might have had, we might have had common interests. But I have no idea what he's like now. I mean, okay, I guess it has been all of middle school and high school. No, was it? It was last year middle school is when you said they met him? Okay, so it's been all of high school and like all of college almost. Uh, he might be di I don't think he'd be that different. If he's here to a wealthy family, does that mean he's some kind of elite member of society? Hi. Seems so. I heard he's studying abroad in England right now. Studying in England, huh? Must be nice. <sighs> yeah, well, he's getting a good education, but an awful marriage. Being a part of the elite isn't all, cra all it's cracked up to be. Yo, you gotta, gotta stop putting yourself down. My god. Uh, if anything, I think he'd be happy because he gets to marry you. I'm honestly a little jealous. Uh, why would you say something like that? Oh, that was probably the wrong answer. Fuck. Shit. You could practice for your interview, like you mentioned. Uh, okay. I guess I'll start talking about why I applied. The interview is for a publishing company. Is it Cloudy Skies Publishing? I know the editor. I can get you the job. I also know the... I also know Katagiri Sensei. I can really help. I see. And I'll pretend to be the hiring manager and ask you a couple of questions. Uh, I'm getting nervous already. Well then. Please go ahead. Oh, she's stammering so hard. Uh-huh. Go on. Come on. I uh, forgot what I was, was going to say. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> That's bad. I, I might went completely blank. Okay, well, just try and relax, for starters. Don't get all worked up. Hmm. 
Mm, all right. I think I'm good now. Uh, why did you apply here? What in particular makes you interested in our company? Hi. Oh, right. The reason I'm applying. Um. Well, I've always liked to read. I was the type of girl who would stay inside reading rather than going out to play. Ah. So you were more of an indoors type of person. Yeah, it sounds like it. Yeah. Yes, I actually didn't have many friends other than my brother. Okay, you don't need to bring that up in an interview. That's not important. So I would often fantasize about living in the world of my books. That's why I've always wanted to publish books that inspire the imagination. I see. What would make Sukido Chan's statement stand out more? Uh. To apply anywhere else? Have you been applying to other companies as well? Hi. Yes, I feel like I should have my options open, so. Does that mean we're not the company you want to work for the most? Huh? Oh, well, uh, that's... Oh, no. Hey, you really think they'll take it that way? They might! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's entirely possible. I think so. I might hesitate by hiring you if I knew you were applying for other companies. Also, you should have a strong reason why this company would be your first pick. For every company. Doesn't matter. Oh, that's good. Were you quiet as a child? I would say so. I like my brother. I was pretty timid. I wasn't really good at meeting people or opening up to others. But I'm much better now. That worries me. Would you put it that way? But okay. Why is that? I didn't really like how I was. So when I got to college, I made a conscious effort to talk to more people. And was that ex effort successful? I think so. You gotta sound more confident. Stop being all, like, unsure of yourself. Confidence is the first key. If you're not confident in yourself, why should the interviewer be confident in you? It makes perfect sense. I made three... No, five! Five new friends. I made five new friends. I see. I suppose that does count for something. Let's go down the line. You know, the uh, typical questions you... So. In a couple sentences, how would you describe yourself? Um, let's see. Well, I think I'm pretty diligent and spunky. Is that the right word? Oh, and I'm uh, a pretty balanced worker. On top of that, people are always telling me I'm kind. It's true. I almost never get mad. The only person I seem to ever get mad at is my brother when he brings up something etchy. He's like, uh, mm hmm. Yeah, that's the only time we've ever seen it. Uh... What? Anything else? Um... I look forward to working with you? No. I see. 
Well, I can tell you'd make a very teachable employee. Just not a very w particularly well-spoken one. Uh, mm. Now, can you tell me what kind of contribution you can make to our company? Uh, I'm just a student. What kind of significant con contribution could I even make? Well, there's your first mistake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ever answer that way. Well, I, I guess I could copy papers and make tea without giving you any attitude. I uh, reach for something bigger than that. Come on. Offer a helpful. Su hmm. I suggest you learn about the company culture the moment you get hired. That way, you can find where you fit in. That's smart. We should take a picture while we're at it. Hi. Okay, for memory's sake. Uh, how's that look? That looks perfect. Excellent. Yep. It's fine to me. Oh, I am a little embarrassed. I'll send this to you later. I think I flubbed it. I didn't even rank up all the way. Well, maybe we can fix it at the end here. Who the hell is this? I... That elegant posterior posture. That bewitching feminine figure. Has a decade spent apart deceived my eyes? Alas, it is as I suspected. Mm -hmm. uh, what's up with this dude? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> At long last, my fair, sweet tsukino san it is you. Is this is the this is the betrothed? My God. He really took those in the, that studying in England to heart, did he? Good lord, he looks like he's trying to be like a f proper English gentleman. My god almighty. Huh? The ten torturous years I spent without you seemed longer than eternity itself. Ah, how I long to gaze upon your delicate visage once more. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've sailed across oceans, climbed rugged mountains, and after 120 passes of the moon, I stand before you here. Wait, you wouldn't happen to be... <laughs> yes, it is I, Daichi Ryuzenji, your beloved fiancé. No way! And you, I see these years have treated you quite well. Compared to you, even Venus herself appears haggard. Man, this guy's... I think overdoing the charm? It's very... I'd be put off by seeing this, and I think Tsukino is too. So, it's probably the proper response. Tsukido, I... This guy is a bit of a whack job, I think, right now. He needs to get... ...corrected or something, I don't know. Who? And here's where words fail me. Were I to compose a thousand sonnets, they did not scratch thy splendid surface. <sighs> Gotta remember to take breathing. Humanity only realizes the futility of speech when confronted by absolute beauty. Hey! 
But I digress. Have you not noticed the princely aura of sophistication seeping from within me? No. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> For I have metamorphosed into a true English gentleman worthy of your affections and praise. Why couldn't you be a proper Japanese gentleman? I'm pretty sure that's what she would have preferred. This is just weird. Oh, no. Hey, will you stop monologuing for a second? Yes, my liege. What are you even doing here? I thought you were studying in England. Oh, I guess school's out. Tsukino, I guess school is out. Ah, but of course. I have completed my academic pursuits in England and hence returned. I heard you made a journey to Tokyo, so I took it upon myself to find you. And here we are. Two lovers reunited. I don't remember you being lovers. Ah. Yukino san, is this guy really him? Yes, even though he named himself earlier and stated he was my fiance, I still find it hard to believe. I, I wonder why. <laughs> and you must be Tsukino-san's servant. Well, you're, then, your service has been much appreciated. You are hereby dismissed. Dog, I think you got the wrong idea about how the world works from your study in English. There's none of that happens yeah oh i'm no servant what then just who do you think you are i'm her boyfriend <laughs> i'm being presumptuous but i'm gonna i'm gonna just throw it into his face i'm her boyfriend what Yagami-san. Don't worry, I'm just saying it to throw him off. <laughs> Oomph. You can't fool me with such nonsense. Tsukino-san would never fall for a mongrel like you. Nah. So, uh, I don't mean to knock you off your high horse. But you need to get knocked off your high horse. She and I were trying to have a conversation here. <laughs> Oomph. Then answer me this. How much is your salary? And what's your net worth? Half a pence and a moldy loaf of bread, I'd wager. Mm -hmm. Why should I tell you any of that? Because money isn't everything, dog. About whether or not you're happy. Yes, young master. Where did the butler come from? Yuki Cow. My bank account in Switzerland. Astound this peasant with its contents if you would be so kind. Dude, I don't care how much money's in your Swiss bank account. Ah, certainly. One converted into Japanese yen. You possess. Roughly 200 million, sir. Big whoop. <laughs> That's not even that much. Eh? 200 million yen? <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? That paltry sum is merely what I've been putting away for our wedding. Sukino savings, if you will. Well then, it appears that I surpass you in... Hmm, let's see here. Status, money, and appearance. Oh, you poor fool! Gotta, you, you gotta throw the Ojo-sama laugh in there, even though he's a guy, it still applies here. 
Because he's definitely fucking acting like he I'm beneath him. And I can't take that. He's being such a shit. This guy. Now, Tsukino-san, let us return to our province where we will have a wedding of incomparable grandeur. Where do you wish to travel for our honeymoon? France? Perhaps Italy? Yeah, what she said. Hold on a second, bub. Hmm, on to what? Look, I haven't fully thought this marriage through yet. I mean, I haven't even graduated college. How? How strange. You promised me when we were children. I remember it like it was yesterday. We were at the sandbox in the playground. And you came up and told me, let's get married when we grow up. I feel like you're misremembering that. Maybe you're not. The joy those words brought me. Not a day went by when I forgot about our sacred oath. Well, yeah, I did say that. But... This guy is a piece of work. <laughs> ah, I see how it is. You're trying not to hurt the feelings of this peasant here. Such kindness. You truly are a goddess of a woman. I ain't no peasant. I got a million yen in my pocket right now. I ain't no peasant. Sure, I'm not like the richest guy in the world, but I ain't broke neither. Oh, no. Actually, we're trying to have some tea together. So, now's not a good time for all this. Oh, well, how rude of me. A true English gentleman would never interrupt tea time. You're not English! What do they do, brainwash you over there? It seems my timing was off. Very well then. I shall return. Ah, but before I go, I'll allow me to say one thing, you impoverished looking peasant. What do you want? Make no mistake, I am Tsukino-san's one and only fiancé, and don't you forget it. Aha. Uh -huh. Yagami doesn't care. Now then, let us be off, Yukikawa. As you wish, young master. <coughs> I'm sorry. As you wish, young master. That guy definitely needs to get off his high horse. Sorry you had to go through all that. I know he's a little different than most guys. I kept saying he was an English gentleman. He part British too? No, I'm pretty sure he's full Japanese. In fact, he's from the countryside. Somewhere out in Ibaraki. What the hell? Happened in England. <laughs> that makes him think this way. Good lord. I think he gets all caught up in that persona of his because he studied overseas. Uh. Oh, he's a makeshift English gentleman then. Jeez, and right when we were finished with the Twisted Trio too. I really think you do attract strange men, Tsukino-chan. Maybe so. 
really said you were gonna marry him as a kid? Yeah, I completely forgot about that. Oh, no. Proposals you make at a child don't actually count, do they? I don't know. Maybe? Nah, I don't think so. But he seems to have taken it seriously enough. He a whack job. I think he had too much of that English tea. Dude, that interview really kicked my butt. I'm exhausted. It really did rack your brain there. Not to mention having to deal with that English gentleman of yours. Right. Sorry you had to go through that with me. I wonder if she had a good time today. Was that a bad day? Is that what you're trying to imply to me? Um... I'm gonna set this one up. Hey there. Hey, what's up, Yagami-san? Can I go through this? Let's not go back from here. Yeah, that's gonna help. I actually, I actually wanted to ask you. Can you help me out with an investigation? You mean like one of your side cases? <laughs> Why is that one in capitals? <laughs> it's like, you mean like one of your side cases? You know those things you do on the side? Yeah, I'm investigating an infidelity case. Uh, but my target is starting to catch on to me. So I need to throw her off somehow. Uh, that's where you come in. Uh, by pretending to be a couple, we can blend in with the environment and avoid suspicion. Ooh, that sounds really exciting. Count me in. Wow, she really jumped at the chance, didn't she? <laughs> I'm serious. I'm totally down to help however I can. Perfect. We got her now, boys. Now let's go get that cheater. Well, that's the plan. I'll contact you when I'm ready to go. She seems really fired up about this. I should report this to Yuko-san. Hey, Yuko. Oh, do I gotta, like, quit out? Oh, she, he, you're gonna call Yuko. Okay. All right, Yuko. She agreed to go with me. I knew she would. Especially if it was an infidelity case. Uh, so where should we hold the investigation? Well, we're pretending to be a couple. So somewhere a couple might go. Wow, Yagami, could you be any more vague? Like somewhere with a lot of love hotels? No, more like the beginning of the date, not the end of the date. Come on, Yuko. That does seem plausible. Does it? I mean, I guess if we're supposed to be... It's an infidelity case, so we're trying to catch... Them, I guess it would, we're trying to catch the uh, cheating lady or whatever who... At a love hotel would be the best place to probably catch them. Let's make it the hotel district then. I'll be wandering around there, so make sure to follow me. I got that. Got it. Uh-huh, yeah. So it looks like our target's in the hotel district. Yep. I'll be counting on you. Hope this doesn't end in total disaster. It'll be fine. Ye of little faith. You wanna know how it won't end in disaster? You gotta make it not end in disaster. Hotel District's over here. 
on a hotel that district. But this is the hotel. Oh, I should have just looked at the map. Like, this is the hotel district. Where is she? I didn't kill you. Oh, my brain. There we go. Okay, let's, uh, yep, thanks, Ryan. Hey, Donami. Hey, Yagami san. Hey there. Sorry to drag you out like this. Actually, I'm happy to help. I mean, we're going on a real detective case here. There's no way I'd pass that up. Yes, a real detective case. Real. You have any problem acting like a couple? Not at all. In fact, I've been doing extensive mental preparation just for this. You should sure seem excited. Well, an opportunity like this only comes around once in a blue moon. Is the target here yet? You should be showing up any minute now. There she is. That's who we're looking for? Mm. Wow, she sticks out like a sore thumb. Mm. Mm, I feel like I've seen her around before. Maybe that's just your imagination. Mm. Yeah, you're probably right. Uh, I wouldn't stare too much at the target if I were you. Otherwise, she might catch on to us. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. Avoid unnecessary eye contact. That's one of the basics of investigation. Roger that, sir. Roger, Dodger. Oh, Roger, Dodger. Nanami knows Yuko so well, she might be able to recognize her even at a subconscious level. Yeah, that's probably what's going on here. We should definitely keep our distance. Alright, so we're going to do our best to follow her around without being noticed. Is this what you call tailing? Yes, in fact, there's a whole mini game for it. Whatever actions we take from here on out, we need to be absolutely sure not to raise her suspicion. Looking at her face is especially off limits. Hi. Understood. I'll be careful not to mess things up. Wait, what's what is uh, Nanami in this? Because I'm tailing her, but what is Nanami? Oh, there she is. She is following. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, I thought she turned around. Okay, so she's making a right.
And she's continuing down that road. And she's going down there. Okay. Yep. Oh, oh. oh, she wants us to be here. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Good job, not to me. You're doing great. Hopefully that wasn't you that knocked things over. Oh, I wonder what she's up to. Um, she looking at us? I hope not. Uh oh, I think she's starting to notice us. I didn't ask her to go over the top like that. <laughs> over the top. Wow, she, you know, she really does remind me of someone. Who could that be? Ah, this is not good. Hold her close. Hmm? Ah, what are you doing? Shh. Need to pretend like we're a couple. Uh, right. Hmm. Why do you keep looking this way? You're gonna blow it! It's getting kind of embarrassing. You're gonna be staring at this the whole time? I don't look breed! Mm -hmm. What? Give... Her a big wet kiss? Really, Yuko? Is that what she's trying to tell me? Me or it who? Wait, okay, she want. Uh, I, I mean, I guess. Mm. And for a second there, I thought it was all over. Yeah, our cover was almost blown, huh? Right. That's what I meant. <laughs> Yagami, stay on the bowl. Mm hmm? All right, let's go see what she's up to. When do we give the big sop and kiss? Is she gonna even turn around ever? Where's she going? She's going into the M side. I think she's having a little rendezvous with a secret lover inside. Only one way to find out. By going on a date. Guess we'll have to play the waiting game. Alright, now's my chance to talk to her. Oh, well, instead of just waiting around, we might as well talk about something. That's what a normal couple would do. I wanted to say this earlier, but thanks for helping me out today. 
see it? No problem. I've always wondered how detectives do their jobs, so I'm glad you let me tag along. And besides, people who cheat should be punished. Uh, well, I just, we know she comes from experience. Like, she's been cheated on. That's the experience I'm talking about. It's pretty disrespectful, I'll say that much. Sad thing is, I see it happen over and over again in this line of work. Why do you think that is? It's the trappings of the male sex drive. Simple. It's the trappings of the male sex drive. Your sex drive? Yeah, I'm talking about our survival instinct. The more we procreate, the greater our chances of passing down our DNA. I mean, while technically you're not wrong... Um... That instinct fuels the sex drive, so cheating is more of a physical factor than an emotional one. So what you're saying is, men can't help it if they cheat, and they should be excused for it? Nope, I messed up. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. After all, you can't let things like instinct and desire rule your life. Even though it's biologically coded into your system? Left over from an earlier era in human history. When, you know, it was more of a survival mechanic. Yeah, for example, finding yourself attracted to other women does happen. Even if you do have a partner. But when you consider the love and trust you built together, submitting to that drive is entirely out of the question. Mm -hmm. I thought men couldn't control the natural instincts. Well, nobody's a saint. I doubt many people have the willpower to resist temptation in the heat of the moment. On top of that, it's difficult to stay enamored with your partner. That's only the first phase of something much deeper. That's why you need to think seriously when getting into a relationship, and put a lot of effort into maintaining it. Man, this shit, I jumped her meter. Hmm, I kind of understand what you mean. I guess men are more complex than I give them credit for. <laughs> well, from a guy's point of view, women are much more complex. <laughs> and I guess the feeling is mutual. So, I noticed we re haven't really gone out in a while. Is it that I'm getting in the way of your work? What? That's not it. You sure you're not just avoiding me? Mm. Hey, I have really have been busy. I mean it. I don't doubt you. Sorry if it's an inconvenience. <sighs> I never said it was. Why ask me so directly? Well, I heard from Yuko-san that you've been turning down every guy who's asked you out. And I guess I didn't want you to think of me as just another heartbreaker. I would never think that. Ever. Because, Yagami-san, I think you're special. Are we getting somewhere? You do? Has progress been swift enough? Hi. Yes, you saved my life. And you're constantly surpassing my expectations. No one else is like that. So you don't automatically hate me then? Of course not. You're different from everyone else. 
I gotta remember, her whole stick is to not push her into being in a relationship. I'm glad you think that way. Sorry if anything I said rubbed you the wrong way. Nanami-san, has anyone ever cheated on you before? We know she. We know it's. We know she has been cheated on. But I mean, I guess we want to hear the direct version. There was this guy I dated. Uh huh. I loved him from the bottom of my heart, you know. I would have done anything for him. But he ended up cheating on me like it was no big deal. All did a moment of weakness, douchebag. So that's what happened. Yeah, I was still young and naive, so it felt like my whole world was centered around him. What an idiot I was for trusting him. Even though it happened so long ago, it still stings. I'm sorry you had that experience. <laughs> Other option. What could I possibly say to that? Don't just say nothing. My god. She's opening up her heart to you. She's, she's being vulnerable in front of you. Come on, Yagami. Well, it was a long time ago. I thought I'd completely forgotten about it. Here I am, lost in that awful memory like it was only yesterday. I feel... I feel bad now. Yeah... Sorry, I, dra I, dra I dragged that memory up, but, you know, you need to move on, girl. No, no, it's not your fault, Yagami-san. I'm letting this stay in the past, so it doesn't bother me anymore. If it doesn't bother you anymore, why does it keep coming up in your life? I think it's still residually bothering you. you might not admit it, but in the background, I think it's bothering you still. Or at least it shouldn't bother me. Maybe I'm not really over it. See? Exactly my point. What am I doing messing around with this girl? Is that why you haven't had a boyfriend for a while? Well, I, I wouldn't say that's the only reason. But it's not completely unrelated either. Oh no, Yagami-san. So, like I mentioned before, I'm not interested in dating anyone. I, but at the same time, I feel like I'm burying myself in work in order to hide from my past. Yeah, I think that too. It ain't healthy. At least Yuko thinks so. She's not alone. I, I feel like there's some truth behind that. Then, if you met someone that was right for you, would you give that person a chance? Well... Yes, I would. If something like that even existed. You haven't met anyone like that yet? Anyone at all? Maybe they're standing right in front of you. Maybe it's a, sh a sharply dressed man in a black jacket with, you know, some scruffy hair. He looks like he could comb it back a bit, but he doesn't bother, but, you know. Nothing? Okay. Who knows? <laughs> I see you dodging the question. <laughs> oh yeah, while we're at it. Why don't we take a picture together? Oh, time's sake. <laughs> sure, why not? That looks good. 
I'll send it to her later. It looked like a decent photo, I, I'd have to say. I never imagined I would open up about my past to anyone. Let alone a guy. Well, I'm glad you did. Because now I feel like I know you a little better. I feel like I got to know you, too. Really, it was kind of a one-sided conversation at the end there. Are you sure? Well, did your impression of me change at all? Yeah. Nope, still the same. I still think you're a wonderful person. Thanks for being so understanding. Ah. Uh, hey, Yagami-san. What's up? I think our target's watching us. <laughs> uh. Oh. Hi. Hello. Stop looking over here. You're gonna blow it again. Did we get caught? Don't tell me. She wants me to get more physical? <sighs> Alright. In order to throw her off, we have to do something only a couple would do. <sighs> hmm, I wonder what that would be. Had a little kiss. Huh? What? No way! Come on, it's to pretend we're a couple. It'll be purely platonic. I I highly doubt that, but okay. <sighs> this thing is absolutely out of bounds. Fine then, how about Will you feed me something? Uh -huh. You want me to feed you? You have a better idea? I, keep, I gave you two options. You sound like you hate both of them. And I don't see you contributing any ideas. Yeah, lovers feed each other all the time. <sighs> feed us what? You'd have to order like a cake, Yagami. All I see on the, pl on the table there is coffee. All I have is this coffee spoon, though. I'm sure she can't tell from this distance. Uh, uh, all right, then. Here goes. Um. <laughs> uh... Honestly, that was so embarrassing. Oh, we managed to... We managed to throw off her suspicion. Good. So it seems. Who the heck... Oh, you the friend from the theater troupe? Okay. Oh, isn't that... A secret lover? Probably. Why don't we take a picture just in case? Oh, can I take the picture? Absolutely. Just don't get too close. Of course, I'll make sure I won't get found out. I think... All right, picture perfect. Hmm? Mm. I swear I've seen this face before. Um, uh, maybe she looks like someone famous. Mm. Um, you might be right. 
Phew. Well, we managed to get what I needed, so I think that's all for today. And we did it without getting caught. Uh. Seriously. Now we had a few close calls, didn't we? We did? Yes, we did. You just don't realize it. Trust me, we had a few close calls. Thanks for coming, Nanami-san. I managed to get some solid evidence. Of course, I was thrilled to do it. I've never done anything remotely like this before. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Even though we were acting, it still made my heart flutter. Was it like that for you too? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's been a long time since I felt this excited about something. You know, I really enjoyed having you along today. Thanks. I had a great time too. Let me know when you have any new investigations, okay? We only allowed to hang out if work is involved? Huh? I want to get to know you, Nanami-san. On a more personal level. Uh, Hi. Truthfully, I want the same thing. Really? <laughs> yeah. I learned so much about you today, aside from your skills as a detective. And I liked what I saw. <laughs> so, what I'm trying to say is... I'd also like to spend more time with you. Great! I seem to have a pretty good chance here, don't I? And don't blow it, Yagami. Does that mean our next date will be a real one? <laughs> I guess it would. Uh, are we both speechless? Well then, I'll give you a call sometime. Hi. Okay, I'll be waiting. New message. Who's next? Oh, it's her. Okay. Hey, Yakubi-san. I wanted to thank you for the valuable experience today. And for listening to me. Oh, thank you for cooperating with me. Yeah. Did you report your findings to the client? Yeah, I did. Sure. And, are they gonna split up? Not sure. I'm leaving that up to the client to decide. I see, so you, you don't step in that deep. But I think it's better to break up with someone who cheats on their partner. When you find out what happens, please tell me. Oh god, we're gonna have to make something up. That's not gonna be good. Up, oh, who's texting me now? My, my phone keeps blowing up. Oh, Yuko. So, how's everything going with Nanami? Good, I hope. So far, so good. I think she'll probably hang out with me again. A go out, rather. Yay! So our plan worked! I still feel bad lying to her, though. You aren't doing anything bad, Yagami-san. Besides, I pushed you to do this. That's true. If it all comes crumbling down, let's blame Yuko. That sounds like a solid idea. And I agreed to do it. Well, what's more important is what happens next. That's right, you gotta ask her out.
Oh yeah, I gotta ask her out. <laughs>